Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today we're looking at a game called Revolver. It comes in this tin, which uh, mine's a little banged up thanks to shipping. Good job, Amazon. But um, it's put out by Stronghold Games. Makes a lot of noise when you move it around. It's for ages 12 and up, two players, about 45 minutes. And uh, it, it's supposed to be really good. I've heard good things, but uh, you never know. So, figured I'd order it. We'll see what it looks like. Inside, we've got one Colonel McReady deck with 62 cards, one Colty Gang deck with 62 cards, 16 Bandit character cards, five Battlefield character cards, one Derail the Train card, one Mexican Border card, 14 Mexican Border tokens, six True Grit Extra Life tokens. Six power tokens, one turn marker, and a rule book. Now this is a non-collectible card game set in the Old West, uh, according to the box. So let's see what it says here. One player takes the role of Colonel Ned McReady, or Reddy, and his lawman. And his opponent assumes control of the notorious and deadly Colty Gang. Each player has his own deck with different cards and abilities. Both players have different goals to win the game. The Colonel wishes to take down the bandits. And uh, Jack will try to escape over the Mexican border to, or stay alive during the final battle on the train. So, it, it's a card game, obviously, but the tin is a nice addition. I wish mine was in a little better shape. It got kind of beat up and dented, but I have a feeling that the quality of the box is not that great. It's kind of dented here. You're not going to be using this as a fair day cage. So let's uh, let's open it up and see what we got. Alright, you can see that dent a little bit better maybe with the packaging off. I might be able to bang that out with a hammer. Ha, <laughs> bang that out. But yeah, that's pretty messed up. Let's see if it'll still open. Oh, it's hinged. Oh, that might be a problem then. Oh, no, it's not. Good. Alright, so. Let's see, we got a token sheet that's missing a few tokens. Let me put those back in place. I don't know exactly where they were, but we'll put them there. Alright, so we got our tokens. We've got our rule book. Rule book's pretty nice. Um, it's about 11 pages long. Sort of in color. Um, there's some images. Not a lot of pictures, but pretty straightforward looking game. You got your playing area with your cards and all that, so looks like it's kind of a shoot 'em up type game. I don't really know anything about this actually. I just bought it on whim because it was on sale. Alright, so here's one deck. And here's another deck. And we've got a third deck, labeled Wanted, Dead, or Alive. Then we've got some red cubes and a white cylinder. These are pretty big. Anything hiding underneath? Nope. Stupid time stories make me look for hidden stuff. All right, let's look at these little wooden bits first. Now this one does have expansions. I've got the first expansion. Um, it's supposed to add quite a bit to the game. Well, these are just normal little wooden blocks. Uh, they're about the size of an average D6. And you've got a little white cylinder here that I assume represents something or it would be pointless. So let's put those away. Let's see, we've got three, six, nine, ten, fourteen red blocks and one white cylinder. All right, and we'll look at our decks here. We've got uh, the back of the decks look exactly the same. So I don't know. All I know is uh, 
there's supposed to be two decks, one for good guys, one for bad guys, but I don't know if we're supposed to be able to tell them apart or not. Alright, I'm going to adjust the camera to zoom in on the cards so we can get a better look. We'll take a better look at the uh, tokens here then too. And we'll be right back. Alright, so let's look at the tokens here first. Um, I had to pop a couple of them back in. I obviously put them in the wrong spot because there's little white outlines. But you get little six little hat tokens and um, six of the little plus one white tokens. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now the thickness on these is pretty average, nothing special. Uh, they're functional, they're not too thin, so I would call it average. Um, but yeah, the artwork looks like it might be pretty decent on these. So let's start with this stack. Um, it's got the deputy in it. I don't know if there's a distinction between the two decks. I think that's just the character cards you pull out and everything else kind of gets shuffled up. So let me figure out how to open this. There we go. Okay, ooh, these are pretty nice cards. Uh, pretty decent. A little bit of cheapo gloss on here, but not much. Pretty, uh, pretty decent. All right, we've got an ambush card. Then we've got to get the rope, boys. Uh, another get the rope, boys. See the little cactus in the corner here? That means it's an action card. The third get the rope, boys. Fourth one. Manolito. It was Manolito. Kill two tombstones unless your opponent had... Unless your opponent two cards I don't know I don't know the rules we're just looking at what's inside rattlesnake bite we've got you surrounded Colty destroy up to two chip cards except for except hail of bolts and Gatlin gun another we got him surrounded Colty we got you surrounded rather dang it shucks it was only a flesh wound Take them out. It's about time you turned up, partner. I can smell their yellow bellies on the wind. Another I can smell their yellow bellies. He shot my hat clean off. <laughs> you just run out of bullets, my friend. You didn't see this coming. Move a sheriff star from any battlefield to the current battlefield. You keep making the same mistakes, Pilgrim. Another you keep making the same mistakes. Rickety Bridge. Indian Reservation. Narrow Pass. Another Narrow Pass. Cactus Field. Another cactus field. Quincy the Spider Whitmore. Apache Scout. Apache Scout. Little hat here indicates it's a character. Another Apache Scout. Another Apache Scout. A bounty hunter. Another bounty hunter. Another bounty hunter. Another bounty hunter. Another bounty hunter. Yet another bounty hunter. Wow, there's a lot of bounty hunters. Bounty hunter. Bounty hunter. Bounty hunter. Let's find out how many bounty hunters that was, because that's a lot of them there. Ten bounty hunters. Ten bounty hunters. Hired two gun shootist. Hired two gun shootist. Because there were so many women shootists back in the day. 
another one that's three a fourth one well there's a deputy second deputy a third deputy a fourth deputy card a fifth deputy card and lastly a sixth deputy card that's a lot of deputies all right let's look at our other deck here Yep. Stupid plastic. Alrighty. We've got a deputy. A deputy. A deputy. Another deputy. Josie Deadeye Logan. You may place this card at an upcoming battlefield. If you do, put a sheriff's hat on this card. First Deputy Charlie Weathers. Provoke Buffalo Stampede. <laughs> well, that's a character card. Interesting. Another provo Provoke Buffalo Stampede. A third one. A fourth one. Uh, Colonel Ned McReady. Reedy. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. Here we got the Jackson Clan, a Gatling gun, a Gatling gun, hail of bullets, hail of bullets, yellow boy rifle, another yellow boy rifle, peacemaker 45 pistol, uh, another Peacemaker 45. These are firepower cards. There's a little gun symbol in the corner. Another Peacemaker. Another Peacemaker. Wow, how many Peacemakers is that now? Four. There's a lot of peace being made. Thanks for your coffee and eggs, ma'am. Another thanks for your coffee and eggs. Let's shoot our way out of here. Because that never backfires. I'm going to kill you, Ned, and that's a promise. Another one of those. M1873 Fast Draw. A second M1873 Fast Draw. 1866 Double Barrel Derringer. A second Derringer. A third Derringer. 45 Long Colt. Another 45 Long Colt. A third one, a fourth one, a 38 special, a second 38 special, a third 38 special, a fourth one, a fifth one, a sixth one. Oh heck, I was just looking forward to stand up fight. Midnight ride. Spur on those ponies. That'll be a nice surprise. Sandstorm. And lastly, Improvise, darn it. I notice there's some color difference here. These are blue, these are red. So let me double check the backs of these. Yep. Um, after, the, after Colonel Ned they have wanted dead or alive on the back so that was most of that stack has wanted dead or alive so one deck is the sheriff deck as indicated by the sheriff shield on it and the other deck says wanted dead or alive so that's how you know which deck you're supposed to have they just had them stuffed together so that's my fault but the, it looks like the uh... yeah the, the bad guy deck might be this one. That's what I'm thinking anyway. That sort of makes sense to me. Anyway, we have another deck to look at. So let's do that. If I can get the plastic off. Alright, let's get these out of the way. And these 
Start with wanted dead or alive. So let's go through them a little better this time. Yep. We'll look at these in a second. All right. First up, we've got to uh, improvise. Darn it. Uh, pack your bags. We're leaving. Pack your bags. We're leaving. No, third one. Come on, you no good pull cats. I'll take you all on. Another pull cats. Uh, chew on this, gringo. A second chew on this. A third one. I only came along for the ride. Saddlebags. Second saddlebags. Adios, amigo. Lightning reflexes. Second lightning reflexes. Fire at will, boys. Another fire at will. A third one. A fourth one. A fifth one. Stick of dynamite. Second stick of dynamite. Cherokee scout. Another Cherokee scout. Bruno, quit John and check ahead. Skinny Landell. Sir Marmaduke. Ponsby Smith. Smythe? Some, I don't know. Salomon Doc Mason. Poppy McReady. Wonder if she's related. Missy Jameson. Mickey Riverboat Mason. It's the guy from the cover of the tin. Manolito. Lenny the Pig Mason. Kittens McKenzie. Now that's a gunslinger name. Watch out for kittens. Josie Legs Newcomb. Harry Boxcars Houndy. Bruno House Hen Cab Capel. Any Gunshot McGraw, Cortez, Bullet the Dog, and lastly Jack the Crow Colty. If killed, you lose. All right, so that's the last of that deck. Now we've got these other cards here. So these must be our, uh, our like location type cards. All right, we've got the Mexican border. And we've got derail the train. Uh, 315 Express from Rattlesnake Station. Rattlesnake Creek. Buzzard Point. Whiskey Canyon. And lastly... Repentance Springs Bank. So it probably plays in story order. Like you start with the bank robbery, then go to all these different points and have your shootouts. So that's pretty interesting. So that is everything that is inside Revolver by Mark Chaplin from Stronghold Games. Uh, I have to say this looks kind of cool. It looks like a fun little card game. There's like different stages that you play at. Just... It like plays like a western movie, it looks like. So I think this one's probably going to be pretty fun. I'm kind of excited to give it a try. See how it plays out. Um, it doesn't look very complicated. It looks pretty simple, actually. So I'm intrigued to see how that works. Um, yeah, um, don't know what else to say about it. It doesn't look like it's... A complicated game in any respect but the tin looks like it's deep enough to hold a couple of uh, expansion or so here and that's probably for the tokens anyway but hold the cards but that'll do it for this episode um, be careful when you get this about the tin uh, mine's all beat to crap uh, so you'll want to inspect the tin because it is hinged so you'll want to make sure that it can open easily and close uh, this one has a little trouble closing. It's got a lot of dings on it. But that'll do it for this episode. As always, thank you for watching and supporting the channel. And we hope to see you on the next episode of What's Inside.